but we shape the ambassador of France to India, the honorable minister for public works, Shunas Khan. Gentlemen, I'm really, really happy to have you here with us today. I know that you have traveled far, and I know that uh, you have not had actually a moment's rest after getting off your flights. That you are here, and all of you are here today, and that you are here in such a large number is a very heartening thing for the people of Rajasthan. As I was just uh, mentioning to the minister and to the ambassador that it was, uh, the, it, the, the speed seems to be of the essence. We in Rajasthan, as coming from the government of India, the new governments in all of these places, seems to be very, very focused on trying to move the country. While I welcome His Excellency Mr. Paula Mene and Mr. Francois Richier, and the distinguished members of the French delegation to Rajasthan. I am hugely delighted that after Karnataka, you have decided to come to us and that you will be spending a whole day, spending uh, not just a day, but really actually focusing on all the issues of importance for Rajasthan as also for France. So I'll begin with the usual cliche which is that, as you know, we are a very, very renowned tourist destination. Very famous for our monuments, very famous for our art and culture, and this goes back many, many centuries. But then that's history that we all share. We also offer palaces and forts, and these are among the finest that uh, one can see in Asia. And uh, interestingly, our tourist arrivals from France are the largest chunk of foreign tourists that come to Rajasthan. So maybe it's a very interesting thing that it's a large delegation that has come here today to start these discussions with us in Rajasthan. So I'm going to talk about Rajasthan that goes beyond tourism and being a tourist destination. We are the largest state in India, nearly the size of France. And at 68 million, our population size is also nearly the same. We are a very fast-growing state, and is, we are emerging also as a preferred destination for business. It is a land of huge opportunities, vast mineral resources, very close proximity to the northern and western markets of India, educated and skilled labor, and most importantly, an investor-friendly attitude. Our strengths, apart from the mineral areas, lie in textile, in tourism, in solar and wind power, in engineering and auto, in agro and food processing, and in gems and jewelry. And we really enjoy pretty much a, a, an advantage in these sectors. But we're also leading producers of cement and of copper, zinc, and lead. And uh, we are also the largest producers of marbles and stones in the country. So, we have taken office only last year in December and our mission is to raise, raise the standard of Rajasthan in the global map and also move towards further development and prosperity. We are committed to providing a comprehensive and inclusive development to the people of Rajasthan. And there is enormous potential in the partnership between a, a technologically advanced and mature industrial economy like France and a growing developing region like Rajasthan. <coughs> These kind of partnerships will definitely be beneficial to both parties. Like any developing economy, we need new infrastructure while also strengthening the existing base. And infrastructure development is really quite a challenging task when you look at the desert-dominated areas of the state. We also want to strengthen our social and economic infrastructure and we have taken up plans for generating solar power, for upgrading major district roads, mega highways, uh, supplying drinking water to majorly problematic villages, modernizing power transmission and distribution. And here also, uh, this uh, infrastructure is a very focal and uh, focused on area. We would like to drive more private sector investment in public infrastructure. We realize that involving private sector in building public infrastructure adds to our responsibilities 
and we have intensified our efforts in creating the enabling policy to attract private investors. We are all promoting sustainable private sector led growth and employment. Rajasthan is one of the leading states in the use of PPPs and in the road sector. It was the first country to formulate a, pro pro a program and a policy for BOT road projects. There are abundant opportunities in the field of solar energy, roads, citizen development, health, education, tourism, water resources and agriculture, heritage conservation, urban infrastructure, I mean, what to the extent to say, you know, looking at planning within cities, and also for looking at landscapes within the cities, which I think is very, very important. You need to have a pleasing atmosphere around you as a state developers. Rajasthan leads in the renewable energy sector, and nearly 20% of our installed capacity today is through these solar, wind, and other sources. We have a Wind Energy Act, and um, with 330 to 300 clear sunny days, we compare very favorably to the desert areas of uh, Arizona, Colorado, etc. But within the state, there are districts such as Barmer, Bikanir, Jaisalmer, and Jodhpur, which are the regions that receive the best sunlight. We have set a target, uh, an ambitious one, of 25,000 megawatts solar power in the state in the next five years. And I'm happy to note that in the solar energy sector, there are several French firms which are already active in Rajasthan, including Ariva Renewable, Total, Solaire Direct, and Fon Roche. In fact, just not so long ago, maybe 10, 15 days ago, we were in Bikani Division. And uh, I was staying in Kajneer. It just so happened that we decided to take a look at a water project and saw a whole lot of solar uh, panels. On the way back, I said, let's just stop. It wasn't exactly it was 7 o'clock getting dusk. And we stopped off and found that it was this Mahindra project, which was being done in Kajneer with the French company from Roche. And uh, I went around it very much uh, without telling anyone. It was very interesting to see the kind of work that had been done there. And that was not so long ago. I understand that the urban development and infrastructure is one of the key interest areas for this delegation. Out of the total population of Rajasthan, approximately 25% live in urban regions. And Jaipur is by far the largest city of Rajasthan. There are other major urban centers, and they are Jodhpur, Kota, Bikane, Ajmer, and Udaipur. The Rajasthan government has been giving high priority to urban development to provide better civic services to the citizens and meet the challenges of urbanization. There is need for a holistic city development and an urgent need to improve the living standards in our cities. We would want to look beyond the state and central governments for funding urban infrastructure and focus on innovative instruments such as municipal bonds, public-private partnerships, etc. Jaipur Metro, one of our showcase projects at the moment, I think will provide in time world-class standards with regard to safety, reliability and comfort. But of course, there is a lot more to be done here, much more to focus on in this sector. And uh, there are areas for partnerships which could also be explored like that of water, city beautification, heritage uh, conservation, and other such things. Rajasthan is expected to witness a boom because of the Delhi-Mumbai uh, section of the highway project of the government of India, the proposed dedicated freight corridor and the Delhi-Mumbai industrial corridor. Almost 40% of the DFC, which is the dedicated freight corridor, is passing through Rajasthan and the opportunities for industrial establishment along the route are imminent as the corridor will make Rajasthan very accessible to these markets that I talked to you about. About 60% of the state's area in uh, 22 districts, including major districts like Jaipur, Alwar, Kota, Bhilwara, they fall within the project, uh, project's influence. The government has proposed smart cities with modern infrastructure under the DMIC project. These cities would have self-sustainable habitats with minimal pollution levels, maximum recycling, optimized energy supplies, and efficient public transportation. 
in Rajasthan, the first such small, small city is going to be coming up in Kushira, which is very close to our national capital. The Kushira Bivari Nirmana region is the first node being taken up for development and will include several major infrastructure projects. Proximity of the state to Delhi has already attracted many domestic and foreign investors into Rajasthan. We are working with Japan at the Japanese zone, which uh, has been developed in Nimrana, while the second Japanese zone and the South Korean zone is proposed in Gilot. The DMIC would give a further boost to the area which falls close to the national capital region. <laughs> but investment in the end is not just the Bison, the water in our taps, water and power to our factories and our, our offices. All of this and more allows us to live the lives we choose. And a lot of this is probably things that you all may be taking for granted. But a lot of this is very, very important because it is just about taking off in some of the outer areas of our state and of course the country. And that's why I say that it's very, very important, all of these things, to allow us to live the lives that we want, the lives that we choose. Basically, for a better tomorrow, we need huge improvements. And of course, we need friends and partners with knowledge and experience. So on behalf of the government of Rajasthan, I once again welcome you to my say. I hope that your visit and interactions will provide, actually be very productive and of course very fruitful. We are open to your ideas and out of box thinking and new initiatives and we believe you could partner with us in building the new strong and vibrant Rajasthan. So again, thank you very much for being here. A very big thanks to the Minister and uh, the Ambassador and to the delegation. And I am very, very sure that this is maybe a small step in the right direction and that together we are going to be able to do big things for the state and then of course for our country. Thank you very, very much for being here with us today.